Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not. So first of all, what exactly is an Armstrong number? Let me explain. Let's say there is a number like 153. If the user has given this number and uh, we need to find out whether this number is an Armstrong number or not. How do we find? Simple guys, to check whether this given number is an Armstrong number or not, we have to multiply each and every digit of this number three times by itself. Say first digit is one, right? One into one into one. Plus the second digit we need to multiply three times. That is second digit is five. So five into five into five three times, done, plus last digit is three. We have to multiply last digit by three times, three into three into three, like this. And finally, you have to sum up all the things. So one into one into one is one. Five into five into five is, five five is 25, 25 five is 125. Three into three into three is, three three is a nine, nine three is a 27. Now you need to sum up all this one, 125 and 27. Let's see what will happen. 125, 27, and this one. You need to sum up all these three numbers. So when you do the sum, 5, 7, 12, 13, 3, and here one will be carry forwarded. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the last one is 1, as it is, 153. So the given number is also 153, and if you multiply each, each and every digit of this given number, and you sum up, it's coming to 153. Both are equal, right? This 153 given number is equal to, after operation also, it's 153. This kind of numbers are known as Armstrong numbers. If I take any other number other than this one, 153, let's say 123 if I take. Is this number an Armstrong number? Let's find it out. One into one into one plus two into two into two plus three into three into three. So we have to cube each and every digit of this number to find out whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not. We need to cube. Cube means multiply the same number by itself three times. Each and every digit of this number, we have to perform cube and at the end, we need to add the results. That is here, one into one into one is one, two to the four, four to the eight, and three to the nine, nine to the 27. 27. 27 plus eight is equal to 28. 28 plus uh, 8 is equal to 36, right? So 36, is 36 same as 123? The given number is 123. When you perform cube of each and every digit and add, it became 36. Are both equal? No. 123 is not equal to 36. Hence, 123 is not an Armstrong number. Whereas 153 number, if you cube each and every digit of this number and finally add up, it is becoming 153. So hence, 153 is an Armstrong number. Now, I'm going to practically write a Java program to find out whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not by using this logic. So first of all, we will intake a number from the user. For intaking any particular number from the user, we need to create an object for the scanner class first. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner like this. And hold the mouse on scanner and import this java.util and this constructor cannot be empty. We have to provide system.in to overcome the error, done. And after this, we'll print out something to the user so that he can know when to enter a number, enter any number like this, enter any number. By looking at this particular text, user will try to enter any number. Let's say he will try to enter this uh, Armstrong number 153, fine. This inputted number, we need to intake into our Java program. How to do that? We need to copy this scanner object and say dot next int, next int. Next int is a command for intaking the integer that is numerical integer kind of input from the user. Whatever the input that is intaken by this next int, we can store that into a variable, let's say number for the mouse and say create local variable. Now we are done with the first step where we have intaken a particular number from the user. Now we need to write the logic for checking whether the given number is a is Armstrong number or not, Armstrong number or not. How to do that? For that, I'll start writing the while loop. While this number is greater than zero, 
we are going to repeat this while loop until this number becomes zero. And since you are modifying this number, I'll do one thing. I'll say int original number is equal to, okay? Original number is equal to, I'll copy this number because you are going to modify this number. Better to copy this to a particular thing before doing any operation on this number. Otherwise, we'll don't know what is the original number later point of time. That's why I created the original number and copied this number into this original number. Fine. If this number is greater than zero, then int reminder is equal to how to get the reminder number percentile 10. Okay. So if 153 is inputted by the user, 153 is greater than zero. And here we'll take the reminder as three. How to get the reminder as three into this reminder? 153, we have to percentile 10. Then only we'll get three. Three will be going into this reminder. Three. Fine. Now, now what we have to do is we need to find the cube of this three, right? We need to find the cube of this three. Each and every digit of this number, we have to find the cube. And finally, we need to add. So for that, here I will say int cubed number is equal to, inshallah, I will put it as zero. Cubed number is equal to cubed number plus what we need to add, guys. We have to find the cube of this reminder. Reminder into reminder into reminder like this. Initially, cubed number is zero. So zero plus the cubed thing of reminder. So when you say number percentile uh, 10, 153 percentile 10 will be three, the last digit three. So here three into three into three, three is a nine, nine three is a 27. Cubed number is zero. So 27 will be stored into this cubed number. Fine, after that, what we have to do is we have to divide this number by 10. Number is equal to number divided by 10 like this. When you divide this number by 10, so 153 divided by 10, how much? When you divide this 153 by 10, it will become 15. Last digit will be gone. Now number has become 15. 15 greater than zero or not? Yes, it is greater than zero. So 15 percentile 10, 15 percentile 10. So it will result in the last digit that is five. Five will be stored into this reminder. Cubed number is already 27. So cubed number plus five, five into five into five. That is 127 plus 125. Sorry, 27 plus 125. Fine, then after that, number is called number by 10, 15 by 10, how much? It will become one, one greater than zero. Yes, true again, one percentile 10, it will be one. Reminder will be one. So here, cubed number is 27 plus 125, plus this reminder into reminder into reminder, that is one into one into one, that is nothing but one. So this will be added, 27 plus 125 plus one, that's all equal to the same 153. 153 will be stored into the cubed number. And again, number divided by 10. One divided by 10 is zero. Number greater than zero. Zero greater than zero is false. We'll come out of the while loop. So the operation is done. Now we need to check whether this uh, original number is equal to the cubed number or not. So to check whether this uh, original number, given original given number is a Amstrad number or not, we need to compare this original number with the cubed number. So int original number, sorry, just int copied. So I am copying it. Int if original number is equal to this cubed number, then we are going to print out system dot out dot print ln. This original number is an Armstrong number. Else system dot out dot print ln original number is not an Armstrong. Like this I have to print. And after that, the, almost the logic is done guys. Uh, only one thing that is left is we need to close this scanner object. Otherwise, we are getting this warning message saying resource leak scanner is never closed. As is part of the best practice, we'll close the scanner object after receiving the input from the user. Scanner dot close. That's it. This will resolve the error. And this particular line is not mandatory guys as part of the best practice if you can do. So now run this program. I'm running the program. It allows the user to enter any number. 
let's say the user has entered the same 153 153 is a armstrong number you see 153 is an armstrong number got printed again let's run this to find out the negative case so let's say i will give the number as 123 this time not 153 123 is not an armstrong number okay when you press enter you see 123 is not an armstrong number this proves that this java program is working perfectly fine in finding the armstrong numbers so hope guys you understood how to write the java code for finding whether the given number is an armstrong number or not so that's it guys thank you bye